Okay, today what I'm going to talk about is actually for believers. It's a series I'm going to call Your Destiny in Jesus. Your Destiny as a Christian. Um, this is not for non-believers. This is for people who are Christians and want to go further with God and find out what what are they destined to be? What do they have a destiny in God? And the first thing to th the first thing to think of is the is the root of the word destiny, destination, a goal, an end process, a get to place. You were not called out by God for no reason. You were called out by God specifically to become something, something that God had purposed before He laid the foundation of the universe. Before he created everything, he had a specific goal, a specific destination for you in mind, something you were intended to become. Now, there's a bunch of different problems that come up when I start talking about this. Problem number one, and they all have to be addressed, because very, very, very few people out there, particularly very few Christians, are actually becoming the people that God has intended them to become. It is a very rare thing to see somebody fulfill their destiny. And it shouldn't be, but it is. And there's why. There's a bunch of different problems. Problem number one, and I'm going to start from the beginning. Problem number one is that you, oftentimes you the believer, when you hear the word destiny, you start thinking of it in terms like the world thinks of it. You start thinking of it in terms of, oh, my destiny to own a company my destiny to be a movie star, my destiny to be, and that's all great, and those may be true, but those are outer destinations. Those are destinies that the world thinks are important. When you're actually dealing with God for real, as a real believer, there is an inner destination that is a lot more important to God than what you actually become. If you become a really powerful movie star, and you're still a corrupted, you know, unholy, unhappy, unhealthy individual, it does no service to God. It does no service to the world. It doesn't do anybody any good. What God is interested in is, is fulfilling your inner destiny. What kind of person are you going to become? Now, very few churches talk about this, and very few people you know, want to hear about this, but this is the most important thing in you becoming a Christian, in your walk with God. What kind of person are you going to become internally? Are you going to take the scriptures and internalize them so that, you know, when when you strike down one cheek, do you turn the other cheek? Are you going to be a meek, loving, compassionate human being, a holy human being, someone who is pleasing in the sight of God in your daily life? Now, that's the most important thing, your inner destiny. On top of that, you have an outer destiny that is usually very, very specific. Um, you were not an accident. You were not put on this earth as some part of, uh, as, as just sort of a random blip. You were designed with a purpose in mind, and it's very, very specific. If you talk about someone like Steven Spielberg or Beethoven, you can look at those two people and you can see a very specific purpose when in the creation of those people. Now, they, I don't believe Steven Spielberg is a Christian. He probably nominally believes in God, but I think he's Jewish. I don't really think he's a Christian. But he is obviously, on some level, living out his God-ordained destiny. I mean, it's obvious when you look at his movies that that was what he was designed to do. Now, the part where people don't understand or pe everyday people struggle is that this is true of almost everybody, including you listening. You have as specific a set of talents and as specific a purpose.